Hello. So this is a Wooting 60HE. I have removed all the keycaps and I'm gonna, I guess, kind of dissect it. You know, I already removed the screws, so, you know, here we go. We'll see what it looks like on the inside. So it looks like, you know, you got your little piece of foam in there. It's pretty squishy. And it comes right back up, kind of like some memory foam. And then another thing I noticed is that right in there, you see, you see the, the white and then like the PCB. So like the, what is it? The, the metal plate and then the PCB that there's black, there's that much foam in between them. And that's actually really cool. So what I was going to do and show you today is, I guess I'm just going to do the tape mod. I'll just put some, some of that tape. Gosh, that is so shiny. Look, you can, you can almost, it's almost like a mirror, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to try the tape mod and then I'm going to lube the switches and we'll see if that makes this sound any better. But I really, I don't, I don't think there's really much, any other things I could do, at least that I know of. So I guess I'll cut back whenever I'm done taping. So I actually decided I'll probably show how I do it. Not that it's anything special. But it's pretty easy. So yeah, let me clean up my space a bit. So this is, it doesn't matter what size, okay. The nice thing about painter's tape is that it's very easy to just rip. So yeah, I'll do it right there. Or maybe I'll, hmm. I'm trying right there. I don't feel like being too precise. And then boop. And then I usually will just at the end, I'll cut off all that excess um, tape off the edge or just rip it off, whichever. But yeah, I usually just line it up like this. Um, I'll kind of, um, I guess I'll do like, it's already so padded. So I don't know if this is going to work at all. It probably isn't, but you know, for science. So I will, I think I'll just do, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do three layers just because I feel like it. I don't think it's gonna do much more. I don't think it's gonna do anything really, but. I just don't know what else to do. I guess I'll, I'll try and do a little, at least one cover up whatever this is. I think these are the lights, the LEDs. And then a uh, skadoosh. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Okay, I'm failing. Failing miserably. Okay. There we go. Wait. That's only two. I'm so stupid. Alright, let me do the third layer. So, 
old tape mod is done. Move some of the excess. And I'll probably cut away so I can go get some scissors and cut off the excess. Like all that, look, that just kind of, you know, it's fine. You know, just cut it kind of close to it so it doesn't have any problems fitting back in the case. And then I will be moving on to lubing. All right, so I have it trimmed now looks pretty good and I also wanted to make sure to remind you if you do do the tape is to get some like thin tweezers or whatever and like go through the hole and like make the screw holes again that way you're not trying to shove a blunt screwdriver through you know three layers of tape All right, so this is actually my first time to ever take a switch out. So I will try and show you from what I learned. And I believe you just get your little switch puller and there's two tabs, one on the bottom, one on the top, and you squeeze them and then you're supposed to just, no. Oh, okay, yep, all right, there you go. Ooh, look, there's a little face. How cute. You can see it. <laughs> it's got a little mustache and everything. A little bearded guy. That's awesome. All right, so I will cut away and I will get all of these. Well, actually, I guess I can just show doing one. Let's see. So if you don't have a switch puller, this is the way that I found you can do it here. Let's see, get less light. Um, I don't know. So you'll see there are two pin. Hold on. How do I do this? Where are you at? Can I get that close? Hey, come on, focus, 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 focus. Oh, you're trying. You're trying to focus. Well, on the sides, there are two. There are two little prongs on both sides. Sorry. Oh, almost got it. There are two little prongs on both sides of the switch. And what you want to do is you want to slide some thin tweezers right under both of them you want to you want it you want it under both oh focus oh there we go it's a little better so yeah slide it under both it's kind of hard to do from this angle but if you if you do it right slide them under both and kind of wiggle hold on i did this earlier well, it's supposed to unclip. It's kind of hard to do <laughs> way up there, but hopefully you get the gist of that. Come on. There you go. All right, so there's one side open. Focus. Anyways, so yeah, you do that for both sides. And boom, it is open. And I'm probably gonna do the lazy method and undo them all, shove the springs in a bag or a little tub and give them a good old shake. So I will cut back whenever I have got all the switches opened. And I guess I'll kind of explain 
how to lube from there. So uh, don't be me. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself, basically. I. Uh, so I need to <laughs> open this up so I can get to the stabilizers so I can lube and grease them. I'm gonna try and take this all off in one piece because I do not feel like retaping. But yeah, just make sure you, it looks like with this keyboard, you can just lube everything. Like this should probably be your final step, basically. But since it is one piece, it shouldn't be too big a deal. It's all sticking together like that. The only thing is, is that you'll probably want to re up, whoopsies. Okay, I didn't do anything. <clears throat> You'll probably want to make sure the holes are lined up again whenever you put it back on, if you screw up like I did. All right, so I have it open now. And look, they got all the little backers um, that like supported them early on. They put little emblems of them. So far, the only one I think I know I know Mr. I think I know Mr. Squishy, but I know the whale. He's a guy that makes like mouse pads and stuff. I've seen a reviewer. Anywho, so you get so that's the PCB. Be careful. Do not break. Don't touch. Don't don't be too crazy with it. I'm gonna place it back on the uh, the key the case. And then here's the little foam with all its little cutouts. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, I hope I didn't break that. But yeah, look, very squishy. Okay, so now we're here. You can see that the stabilizers are, you know, obviously attached to this thing. So should be able to just. Yeah, lube everything from from here. It should be a lot easier to take uh, take apart as well. It's just a top plate. All right, we got them all off now. So now I'm going to, you know, I'm kind of wondering what it would look like if I painted this black. I know that would take away from the whole RGB shining, all pretty and stuff, but I don't really care about RGB. And I kind of am going for like a more black, like equipment setup. So I think I might do that. But yeah, uh, so we're gonna be taking these stabilizers out and then we're going to be putting grease on them lube we're going to be lubing them something like that all right i got everything all separated and i did lube one just to kind of see and here i'll show you the difference between an unlubed switch and a lube switch so this should be unlubed and this one should be lubed In here it's a lot quieter. It feels a lot smoother to press down. Though these already feel pretty decent stock, but yeah, it definitely makes a big difference. And that's just a basic lube. And I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so that's the unlubed one. Keep you. I don't know where to put my lube switches. Okay, so I got this little uh, little grabby boy. I'm grabbing a stem. Uh, if you didn't know, these are magnetic, so they're all sticking to each other. So you just grab it. You grab it by the stem like that, and then you're gonna get your lube, a little brush. I got my lube right here. And I don't really know what I'm using. Let's see. 
Mine is a GPL 205G0, probably a knockoff brand of that Crytox stuff that everyone uses, but eh, it's Amazon stuff, you know. It's been working fine for me. So I just get a little bit. Put some on the outside housing where um, that's where it's gonna slide. Uh, right here is where it slides um, on the casing. So get it nice and good on the outside of there. And then we're going to do around the stem, all up on the inside, all up in there. Because the spring is going to be on that, and that will help lube the spring, even though I will, I'll be bagging these springs. Uh, I'll be sticking some lube on the bag, and then I'll just be sh shaking the crap out of it. But basically... Besides the springs, that's technically all you really need to do. But I also want to get the top housing, so the clear the you know, the clear part that's up. And I want to get all up around there where the stem is going to be like returning cuz I personally like quiet keyboards, low thox or whatever that might be. Oh. Try not to get it on the LED part if you want your LEDs to shine really well. But yeah, I just get it all up in there. So whenever the stem returns, it's less plasticky. That's just my personal taste. And you can even go on the inside of this, of the bottom housing and go where the stems are gonna be sliding up and down, get all around it. And then you can even add some right where the stem is gonna go up and down on. So I actually lived this one, I did a little bit more than that first one I showed you. So I will put this one together. Oh, well also I need to do the stem. So what I'll do, this one's going to be different than how I'm going to do the rest of them. Oh, come on. Because I'm going to do it the lazy way, the rest of them. Okay, these are all stuck together. Oh, okay. So I saw this from Switch and Click, uh, the YouTube channel. So I'm just going to basically just kind of dip, dip the ends, the bottom in there. And it kind of makes like a little a little cloudy film or whatever in the middle. So I just kind of get my brush and I pop that bubble and get the rest of it out. Because it is a lot. You don't want to waste all that. And then you shelve it on there. That might be too much. I'm going to flip you around. Okay, so you shove it on there. Pop off excess lube. Put the stem back. And it's pretty easy to know uh, which way the stem goes. You may not be able to tell when I show you, but there is a little um, flare on the actual stem itself, and it literally won't let you do it the wrong way. So if you push down the stem and it doesn't go down all the way, then that means it's you have it faced the wrong way, so you just turn it around. Okay, maybe. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that one sounds much better. Okay, so here's stock. This is stock. And here's this lubed one. That is nice, nice and quiet. And then here's that first loop one I did. That one sounds pretty good too. But stock, lubed, super lubed. 
I think I might do, I think I might do them all super lubed. That was, I like, I like that sound. Nice and quiet. Alrighty, so I'm going to get to the rest of this and then put it all back together and I'll have a typing test at the end.